What's going on guys and welcome to another video on my BMW E46 ZHP. Yes, that's right, we're finally taking care of the Alcantara on my steering wheel here, or I should say really whatever's left of the Alcantara because quite honestly, um, I'm not feeling too confident about uh, the success of doing this today, but we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna be using the Sonax Alcantara Cleaner. Uh, it says it can be used on upholstery as well, but we're gonna try to take care of the steering wheel today, bring it back to life, at least give it one shot. Um, the alternative, of course, if it's too far gone, which I think it might be, is to buy a new wheel or get it uh, you know, refurbished in some way. So we'll look into that as a second step, but for now we're gonna see what we can do with the Sonax Alcantara Cleaner. All right, let me give you guys a very close up and disgusting uh, view of the steering wheel. As you guys can see, most of it looks just you know like some sort of vinyl or leather, which really sucks because previous owner who had this car for a long time, you know, he just didn't uh, care for the Alcantara. He just treated like anything else. So what we're gonna try to do today is uh, bring it back to life. I actually did attempt uh, at this little section right here, bringing it back to life. This was months ago. And I didn't really try very hard, but I wanted to see what would happen. So we're going to try to make this better and also improve this. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is sort of just for fun. Um, and this is not sort of like recommended. I feel like if it's this bad, it's probably not going to be uh, a great success, but we're going to play with it and uh, see what we can do today. All right, guys. So first off, yeah, I know it's nasty. Um, you don't have to tell me more than once. I already know. I'm gonna put this here. Car is pretty dusty, but this stuff I feel like I don't want it to spray on on everything. We're gonna be scrubbing down the, the surface, so we'll put that there. I'll grab a warm sort of it says get you know like a moist towel here. And I'm just gonna rub the surface just to warm it up. Try to clean it. That is nasty. There's not even any cleaner on here. So we're gonna see if we'll have any success. Just doing this first off will probably help. It already looks better, which is a little sad, but that's kind of the fun of older cars sometimes. You get to improve them. So you don't want to soak the Alcantara too badly. Um, so this might take a few rounds. Although it is, you know, it's a damp cloth, it's getting it pretty soaked here. Grab a dry one. And clean it up. So we'll just do half here. And this is convenient, you just kind of go, this is my move. Wow, that. Wow, without cleaner, it's already improving it, so we might have some hope, at least, at least to keep it acceptable for a short period of time until I decide to, you know, get a different wheel or something. I at least don't wanna to have to stare at it and touch it, certainly. It's so gross. Grab a brush here, uh, this says color lock, and we're just gonna gently see if we can rough up the fibers, see what's happening, see if there's anything. You definitely have to be very careful, especially if it's already kind of ruined. The chances of making it worse, I feel like are much higher at this point. And if I do, it's really not a huge deal. I kind of realize that. Maybe it isn't savable. We'll see. So rough them up. Don't scrub the crap out of it. Just, just you know, they, if they don't come up, they're not going to come up. So we'll continue playing with it. I'll take uh, this other. Look at that. That is nasty. That's just from wiping it with warm water. Literally, that's all I'm using. Warm water right now. All right, guys. Close up view. Wiping down the steering wheel with just warm water and a microfiber, um, you can definitely see, like see the camera's focusing here. It's definitely improved, at least when you look at it, it looks kind of normal versus over here, 
is still very shiny. I haven't done right here to the right, but I did over here. So it is definitely improving it and we haven't even used the cleaner on it. See how this, some of these look like they're kind of dangling off of here. I have barely scrubbed this. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Give it one more warm wipe down. Uh, kind of dry it off a little bit and then and then uh, we'll go for the cleaner. All right, let's take this stuff I'm Just gonna put it on the corner here. Oh Jeez Gently I'm just trying to get it evenly first Evenly. Okay. All right, let's take our brush, and it does say apply it via brush, so we'll try that too. Just gently, don't press too hard. Very gentle, and don't overwork the area. I've ruined part of my M3 steering wheel by doing that, I think. You kind of scrape off the actual material. You don't want to do that, obviously. All right, then the bottle says wait about five to 10 minutes, so I'll let this sit on the steering wheel for a bit, and then we will uh, wipe it off with a damp towel. All right, guys, so it's been about 10 minutes. And we're going to rinse off or sort of use a moist towel, a wet towel, and we're gonna just sort of try to clean off the residual. Uh, get the cleaner out and sort of see if we can do anything with these fibers. All right, I'm gonna take a dry towel and although this will take a little bit to actually dry, I'll just sort of try to soak up any sort of residuals. See if we can clean it up a little more. See this is, can't really tell, but this is getting a little dirty still. So ideally in this scenario, you probably want to do round two, round three. But for this video, you guys will be able to see it. Uh, just with one application and then if you want to do more you can do more just be careful you don't screw it up yeah this is very very gentle you have to be very gentle with this all right guys so we got the steering wheel cleaned we did one full pass uh, one application of the Sonax Alcantara cleaner I want to give you guys a close-up it's not fully dry so it probably will look a little different once it's dry but I want to show you guys um, there definitely is you know, some deviation here now where before uh, there wasn't. It's actually pretty cool to see like such a big change. And uh, you know, although the, the condition is far from ideal, um, it's definitely improved grabbing the steering wheel. It's just one of those, those high touch points, just like the shifter. I got the new uh, shift knob, a fresh knob from FCP Euro. It just makes the whole car feel newer and sort of revitalize and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, definitely worth it. You don't have to buy a whole new wheel. You can definitely improve it. Depends what kind of level you want to get the car on. But as you guys know, this is kind of a, you know, a daily driver and a little more budget friendly of a vehicle for me. Um, I bought it for cheap and I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on it if I can help it. So uh, for now, this is what I'm going to rock. All right guys, so that's gonna do it. Of course, links are in the description as usual. If you click on those links, I do get a little bit of commission credit. Helps support the channel, helps put gas in these vehicles, and uh, it's always a plus when you spend all the time get a little bit of kickback. So click on those links if you wanna order some Alcantara cleaner, towels, or pretty much anything else I use for detailing and car, garage related. Uh, I have all of those links always included in the video, so much appreciated. All right, so let's end the video. Guys, thanks again. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I will probably do a semi-related uh, video 
on the M3 Alcantara wheel. I actually did a full like quote quote restoration on that wheel. That one is in much better shape than this one. So I wanna do a sort of an upkeep thing on it, clean it up and just keep it in good shape. So that'll be a follow up video. I'll include some information in that video as well. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.